Hello everyone, and welcome to another DIL concept analysis. This is a series of videos where I discuss about each dinosaur concept released by the DIL devs team. If you are interested in checking another analysis, I will put a notification on the top right corner that will take you directly to the playlist. Today we will explore the Pachycephalosaurus concept art, so sit back and enjoy the video. Pachycephalosaurus, I'm not even going to try to pronounce that, meaning thick-headed lizard, was yet another North American dinosaur, Jesus Christ, America has a lot of dinosaurs, that lived during the late Cretaceous period, 72 million years ago. Pachys were a relatively small species of bipedal herbivores, merely measuring 4 feet tall and 14.8 feet long. Although ironically, this is the largest member of the Pachycephalosauroid clade, and speaking of that, holy shit, there's a ton of them. Look at this. 15. 15 of these buggers. We think they are all pet size. Becky's most recognizable feature is its extremely thick dome-shaped skull roofs. 9 inches to be exact. It is hypothesized that male specimens would compete with each other for dominance during mating season, utilizing their thick skulls to ram their opponent. This activity was most likely dangerous but not fatal since their domes were mostly composed by fibromelar bones, a type of bone that contains fibroblasts, which are very important for healing, rapidly restoring bone damage. In addition, they possessed large eye sockets facing forward, an heavy indicator of binocular vision, an unusual trait for a herbivore to have since most animals with this capability are predators. Fun fact, despite being bipedal in nature, Pachycephalosauroids are most closely related to ceratopsians than ornithopods, meaning this fellow over here is more closely related to this than this. Yeah, let that sink in. Young Pachys would start their lives with flat thin skulls that would grow over time till they reach adulthood with their domes fully developed. Having small and rich teeth, they couldn't be able to chew the common plants consumed by most herbivores at the time opting for a diet based on leaves, seeds, and fruit, although it is also suspected that they would have meat included on their diet to some degree, due to their frontal serrated blade-like teeth. Pachycephalosaurus is yet another legacy dino and oh my god we all know how trashy he is in game. Following the idol's pattern so far, the dinosaur's proportions are identical but slightly oversized, measuring 4.9 feet tall and 15 feet long. In this branch, Pachy is a low tier herbivore that specializes on... nothing. This bipedal Enki runs at 40 km per hour meaning that can be outrun by every single carnivore in-game, except two, Suko and Giga. It has pathetic health, having 1300 HP, 100 more than a Yuta. They have low attack speed, high bite force but since it's so light it doesn't really matter, slow turn speed, pretty useless jump, grows slower than Mayas which are superior in every single way, Almost non-existent bleed resistance, and since Pekis don't deal bleed themselves, if you get hit, you either die immediately, or bleed to death faster than you lose stamina while swimming. And speaking of swimming, they are allergic to water. They are really this bad, so here's the reason why people consider them hurt pets. From their concept art, it seems that Pekis are finally going to get some desperately needed love from the devs, so let's see what will change in Evrima. To kick things off, we can see in this segment that juvenile specimens don't have domes just like their real-life counterparts, with visual change there. Here we can see a unique interaction between two packies. It isn't clear if this will be part of a more complex mechanic in the future, however. Down here we have the confirmation, for no one's surprise, that packies have the ability to bone break, now called fracture. Fracture is essentially bone break divided by several tiers of severity, 
and it seems that our fellow will inflict high levels of fracture by the way this specimen obliterates this Kentro's shoulder spike. Here it shows that Pekis will have some sort of counter to pouncing. This implies that Yutas will have a very hard time killing these aggressive herbivores. We don't know how effective this countermeasure will be, but by the fact that it's highlighted here we can safely assume it's pretty effective. And here we can detect a possible smashing ability of sorts. It is a single image so it's not set in stone that this represents a form of combat or not, but at the very least we can conclude that Trudons don't have much of a chance competing against this hammer with legs. Pachycephalosaurus shares a lot of the same issues Serato has in Legacy, but to an extreme degree. They can barely kill anything consistently, and most predators are faster, so there's a clear problem here. It's evident by the concept art that they don't want Pachys to be more dangerous above small tier, which is fine. At the moment the most dominant small herbivore in Evrima is the Dryo, and you guys know the rest. Turning Pecky into a small tier powerhouse would create an interesting dynamic, considering that Monolophosaurus, Dilophosaurus and Utahraptor will be the main bulk of the small carnivore category. They will need a heavy meal that is small and slow enough to be caught, but strong enough to be a challenge. Utah will be the less effective of the three since it has been shown that their pounce is directly countered by Pecky's, having to rely on other methods to hunt them down. Monolophosaurus doesn't have enough public information to give a precise idea of what it might be like in terms of gameplay, but if I have to give my two cents on it, I would say that they would probably focus on brute force, which is exactly what Pekis are known for, so it is likely that they will have issues hunting them too. Since Pekis are already severely weak to bleed in Legacy, it is probable that that thing will pass on to Evrima as well being Dilo the perfect candidate for the task. Despite that, all three predators will most likely be clapped by a good pecky if they don't play carefully. The introduction of Fracture will add a much needed extra layer to the combat system, being pecky the absolute king of bone break for the foreseeable future. They won't reign supreme in the game, but with absolutely no doubt, they will be much, much better than what they are now. And that's all for today. Next up, we will investigate the Gallimimus concept art. So if you enjoyed this video and want to watch further analysis, subscribe to my channel. There's also other content that you might enjoy, so feel free to check it out. As always, I hope everyone enjoyed this video. See you on the next one. Stay safe.